We're back. Now, what do Deadpool, Wolverine, and I have in common? By now, you may have figured these out, but I'm gonna tell you anyways. Number one, we're incredibly good looking. Number two, we're incredibly humble. Number three, we all love root beer as mandated by the Canadian government. And number four, we were all part of the Weapon X program. Only one of these is a fib, by the way. So I'll let you guess which one. We are back with another character showcase created in partnership with Marvel and 2K. The first of the DLC heroes, as you know, is Wade Wilson, the Merc with a Mouth, our favorite fourth wall breaker. Is this a Mole Man thing? Deadpool. Deadpool's kit is almost entirely built around his En Fuego system, and we're gonna say En Fuego a lot today, so start keeping track. Each time you KO an enemy with a Deadpool ability, you're going to build your Enfuego meter. Once that meter fills, it adds a stack of Enfuego, and the meter resets. Of his 10 cards, 9 are modified by the number of Enfuego stacked. So, like some of the other top-tier damage dealers in the game, think people like Iron Man, Ghost Rider, Hulk, it makes sense to build your team comp around them to let them shine as much as possible. Now, Deadpool is going to lose some effectiveness when taking damage, so heroes like Captain America, or surprisingly enough, considering their relationship, Wolverine, are helpful to taunt enemy attention away from Mr. Pool. Unsurprisingly, of course, Doctor Strange has a couple of abilities in Vapors of Altur and the Shield of the Seraphim that would complement Deadpool extremely well here. Now let's start with one of Deadpool's common attack cards, titled after a nice little XCOM callback, Death From Above. Wade's going to take to the air while drawing both of his swords and then come plunging down towards his target. And if you have Enfuego stacks, you'll start seeing hugely increased damage per stack. If you upgrade Death from Above, you're going to increase the damage per Enfuego stack. Are you keeping track of the Enfuego mentions? Because we're at least over five. I know that. This is one of the more straightforward applications of Enfuego. Before we get into some of the more advanced ways Enfuego affects his abilities, let's look at his passive. I'm personally looking forward to spending as much time with Deadpool as possible. He's witty, he's funny, he's sassy, and he's got just a little bit of the edge, you know? He's going to kind of get everybody on their toes at the Abbey for sure. These are all top qualities that you want in a best friend. Each of the DLC heroes has their own arcs, similar to the base game heroes. And if you follow these to develop your friendship, you'll unlock Deadpool's passive ability called Staying Alive. How that works is each turn, you'll heal 15% of his max health. Very helpful for those times when you're not able to taunt away or conceal him from enemy strikes with supporting staff. And at level 2 of staying alive, you're going to heal an additional 5% of max health per Enfuego stack. Moving on, Deadpool has two skill cards in his kit. And for this showcase, we're looking at his legendary Hey base. And if we've learned anything, we've learned that cards with exhaust are very situationally powerful and Hey base fits the bill. Deadpool will taunt an enemy and gain a resist for each Enfuego stack. Resist is arguably one of the strongest mechanics in Midnight Suns. Unlike most other status effects, it remains until it's consumed. If you're able to play Hey F*** Base with a large Enfuego stack, you'll likely have enough resist to last the rest of the battle. On upgrade, you'll gain one resist without needing an Enfuego stack at all. And depending on your current hand, you can play this as an early card play and then taunt away or conceal Deadpool to keep those stacks for future turns. But this should help preserve his Enfuego stacks as the mission continues. Let's move over to his common heroic ability. It's called Pain Pinata. Deadpool targets an AoE and damages every enemy in the AoE. If you guys have played any Midnight Suns, you'll know that the battlefield can get pretty crazy, especially late game. So AoE damage is very much appreciated. Of course, we need an Enfuego modifier for this one. And instead of modifying the damage, we're going to be actually modifying the size of the AoE itself. Each Enfuego stack increases the size of the AoE by a whopping 25%. On upgrade, you'll get a much appreciated reduction in heroism cost as well. Speaking of heroism, outside of his mag dump ability, Deadpool requires very little heroism to be effective. This is something that sets him apart from his comparable damage dealing buddies like Iron Man, Ghost Rider, or Hulk. And this should open up some interesting team comps, so keep that in mind when you're experimenting with your builds. Last but not least, let's look at Wade's legendary heroic ability called Burning Sensation. Weird title, but it is Deadpool after all, so I'm not surprised. 
excellent for dealing huge single target damage versus one of those guardians, nest mothers, or fallen villains. Burning Sensation's damage doubles for each Enfuego stack. The upgrade here increases the base damage, which exponentially increases the benefits from the Enfuego stacks too. So that's Wade in a nutshell, the first of four announced DLC heroes. Make sure you're subscribed to both the Midnight Suns YouTube channel and my own. My name again is Christopher Rod, and I'll make sure that there's links down below for all things Midnight Suns. Thanks again to Marvel and 2K for working with me on these showcases. I hope you enjoy playing the game with the new heroes as they release, and of course I'm going to be back to do more showcases as they do release. Thank you so much for watching. Deadpool is going to be available on January 26th. Very excited for you guys to get your hands on him. Take care. Bye for now. Yeah.